there's outside noise. When you lose, there's a different kind of outside noise. How do you just block all that out and kind of help your guys block it out too? Yeah, I think uh, that's something that you have to, you know, learn in your experience here at Ohio State. I think for freshmen, it's definitely a learning curve. Me being here and being a senior, I try to give my advice on those topics. I think that um, kind of like you're saying, the noise comes from both sides, positive and negative. I think both of them are dangerous. Um, you can get too down in the dumps, but I think positive affirmation is maybe even more dangerous in some senses. So um, I think just blocking out all noise and kind of keeping it within the people of this building um, is really what was going to take us to the next level. I know it was in a loss, but what impressed you about how Will responded on the road and handled that environment? Yeah, I think uh, he, played, he played a great game. Um, he was able to kind of get the offense settled in and obviously it was a very loud environment uh probably louder than we anticipated so um but you know i think our confidence in will is extremely high and he shows why he's you know a top caliber quarterback and his seniority really shined through in that game you had 10 catches on 10 targets so what about the chemistry between the two of you is clicking right now? um i think just that trust level we do it every day i'm out here in practice we just had a great day today and he's finding me on the field i'm getting open for him so i think having that uh that trust in one another helps us on Saturdays. That's from one for me. You mentioned about how the DBs have kind of, they responded the right way to the struggles against Oregon. How do they show that in practice? Yeah, I think that just their demeanor coming out to practice in a sense, um, being very intentional about the, intentional about the things that they do, the way that they practice, um, getting better with with each and every snap. Um, because even if our DBs would have went out there um, in in Oregon and had you know held all the receivers to zero yards, they would still have that same demeanor um, coming into practice every single day. So uh, we have a lot of men, you know, in the DB room who don't really hang their hat on football. Um, obviously, we're all very passionate about the game, but. Um, they're they're very grounded in their faith, and uh, they know that one game doesn't define them. So just having that confidence in the cell, and then we just try to um, you know make sure they know that we're confident in them as well. I think just the way he practices, um, there's never a wasted rep with Jeremiah. So I think that everything that you see on Saturday is something he's already done in practice. Um, and I think that's a, a key to being a great player here at Ohio State. And just in general, being a great player, you have to have great practice habits. So that's something that he definitely has. And um, a lot of people have to learn that at a young age, but he kind of naturally came in with it. So I'm excited to see how his, uh, scene, uh, how his season continues.